What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a trade series of trading from a pair of Crocs all the way up to this sneaker right here that is a Nike Dunk that I'm super hyped that we are able to trade to all in this video. We had 24 hours to go ahead and trade this pair and see how far we can go. So we started off at a sneaker event. We went to Ragaramas, Plato's Closet and made it very difficult for ourselves to do this challenge. Let's go ahead, head to the sneaker event and start off this challenge trading the Crocs. All right guys, we are at Kickchella and we are starting off the trades with the pair of Crocs right here, purple with the green hearts. We're gonna see how far we can take these today. This might be a little bit different difficult because this is weird for a sneaker event, but I'm thinking maybe some vintage shirts. Hope we can get maybe three trades up to five. We'll see. I hope we can get some good stuff. I don't know if anyone's going to want these though. So we're going to go try, see what we can do. We brought some cars out today, so pretty exciting. So let's go see what we can do. We have a business inquiry for you. Do you have anything at your booth that you would trade for these Crocs right here? Anything at all? Uh, I personally <laughs> don't, You don't think those are fire? You want to wear those? I think they're an 11. Yeah, we, 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 we'll figure something out. All right, let's see if we can find something. We're just trying to make our way through Crocs. trades. I personally think 20, 30 bucks maybe. I think retail is like 60 or something. I don't know. How do you feel about these? Hey. Barriers Converse. Those are pretty clean. Brand new. Straight trade. Straight trade. <laughs> I'm down for that. Barriers. What size are these? 10? Hey, if you're down for it, I'm down for it. Let's do it. All right, sweet. Let's lock it in. Perfect. Uh, easier than I thought. Thank you. Appreciate that. Sure. So now let's see where we can take these pair of Converse from Crocs. Are you going to rock those? New personal. You're going to rock them. <laughs> Look at that. Easy. All right, so we were planning to do a lot more trades around Kickchella, but it turned out that nobody wanted these sneakers at the event. So we tried a little bit, got offered a little bit of tummy hill figure, some jackets, but we decided to pass and move on and go to the next morning and try to go to Plato's Closet and see what we could find. Okay, so next morning after the sneaker event, we took kind of an L out there. Nobody wanted these after we traded. We got the Crocs. These are retail 125 bucks, but nobody wanted them after we traded. So instead of going to sneaker stores where they hook us up, you guys say that that's an aspect of this. We're gonna go to stores like Plato's Closet, Ragarama, and try to trade that way now before we go to the sneaker store. So we're here at a Plato's Closet. Retail is 125, they're brand new. I'm hoping they will give us some money and maybe we can work out and negotiate a trade for something that they have in the store. So I think we're, we're doing pretty good, but this is good for from Crocs, but they were just offering us like, I don't know, there, it was uh, some clothing, some vintage stuff, and we were like, that might be harder to get stuck with, so after that sneaker event, we're here today, we're still going, 24 hours, so that sneaker event started, I think we did that trade around like five o'clock, so we have 24 hours from five o'clock till now, so let's hope we can make work. Hello. Yes. Nope. All right, we hop back in the car. We are headed down the road because they need like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so to go ahead and check it. They got a little bit of a line there. And so I don't know if you guys know how this stuff works there, but they basically will look up, up give you a price and then you come back and then they'll tell you how much it is. Now there's a chance that they tell us the price and we're like, nah, where they try to give us like $10, but we'll see what happens. Uh, kind of nervous about that. We have 24 hours to do this. So we got to get them to get it done quick. So let's go. Just got the text that it is ready. It didn't take too long. I think we're still on a good trajectory to keep going for this challenge. So uh, we're gonna go pick this up. Actually, we're gonna see what the offer is. I actually am kind of nervous because I feel like I shouldn't take under 50 bucks and I don't know if I'm gonna get that. So let's hope for 50. I'm gonna be good with 50 because then I can go buy something else and then make my way up from there. But if it's like 25 bucks and I'm like, I'm nervous, we'll see. We were able to buy the shoes and we can offer you $40 for them. 40? Uh, okay, I'll do that. Yep. Thank you. All right, so trade number two, if you wanna say it, they gave us $40 cash for that pair of shoes. So a little bit less than I said that I wanted, but $40, I think we can keep going with. So we're either gonna go to Ragarama, Plato's Closet, or maybe try to find a sneaker store that has something for 40 bucks, which will be tough. $40 is tough. So I'm trying to think of maybe we go to Rag and see if they have like a pair of Air Force One or something that we can get for 40 that we could trade at an actual sneaker store and keep going. Clock's ticking though. We have about hours left in the day. Oh my gosh. We're only at two, two trades with six hours left. So I'm hoping to get to like seven. Seven will be okay. All right, 
just ran to the warehouse real quick with the pair that I got. Now, these were $28 and I ended up getting $9 and some change on top of that because I had $40. So, these are a pretty beat pair of Air Max 90s. They're a size eight and a half, no box. Um, it's gonna be tough with these, but since I have cash, I think the right move is to go to a sneaker store that has vintage and try to get like a vintage shirt for them. So one thing I'm gonna do as a little cheat code to add value, is I'm gonna take this replacement box that I have at the warehouse, that's why I ran back here, go and put these in there, take the tags off, and hope we can get a little more value out of it and use that $10 that we have. Guys, we're about 10 minutes away from good times right now. This is gonna be tough. This is our first trade going from like Plato's Closet and stuff. Now, it is almost 12 o'clock. It'll be a little bit after 12 once we get there. So obviously we have until five today, about five more hours. That's totally fine. I think we're gonna get three or four more trades in and most of the stores in Atlanta are all within like a 15 minutes time span. So I think we should be good on our timing wise to get a good enough amount of trade. But this trade is going to be the hardest because we're working with a really bad shoe that's dirty and it's not worth a whole ton. So I'm nervous that they're not gonna take them and I don't know what we're gonna do if that happens. We'll go to another store, but we will um, take care of that as we get there. But let's head there right now. All right, so we start off a pair of croc and we've been trading around and we're now at this point, but we're gonna like Plato's Closet Ragorama. So we're doing, we're not like getting help from stores. Yeah. So we're like legit going for it. So we have a pair of shoes here. Plus I have about $10 cash on top. And I figured since they're lower value, maybe you guys have some vintage shirts or something you could trade, but they are. Some Air Max, yellow. They're a little dirty, size eight. The box, they got a red box. Anything that'd be 10 bucks worth in these shoes. Yeah, this is different than the Air Force Ones when we came by. One, two, three, four, five, ten dollars. Would you guys even be able to do anything with those and have any trading credit or anything? Us? Probably not, to be honest. Yeah. You know what I would do? I would trade you something like really cheap. Yeah. And then I'd probably throw these out like for free. Yeah. Like steal of the day type of thing. Yeah. Like for somebody who needs a shoe. Exactly. And kind of just give them away. I think if we could find a cheaper tee, like a twenty or thirty dollar tee, mm -hmm. I would definitely run that. Just okay. so I can give away a free pair of shoes to somebody who needs it. Okay. Yeah. I guess we can look through the rack. Yeah. Let's see if we 20, can find 20 bucks -ish. For sure. The lowest I found so far, which is eight hundred. I don't know if that'll work. So I found a few tees right here. This one was 30, a Tide Racing tee in 1987, 1997. Pretty cool there. This right here is Atlanta Dirty Bird Forever NFC Championships, which I think if we're going to full circle next, they would really like this That's one. That's definitely the best one. Yeah, but that one's a little bit more. And then there's this Tracy Chapman summer 1996 one. So I'm pushing. This is the one, I think, but we gotta see if they'll do it. Found three. This one would be preferred, but it's a little bit more. And then these two, so these are 30. Found two 30s are good. And then this one's 40. So I remember, I think 40 might've been too much. So if not, we have these two 30s. And uh, I'd probably do this one over that one, but I didn't know. The 41. Can run that with yeah. the cash and everything. Yeah. I think that would probably be best. And I think for where we're going, since we're in Atlanta, it would help yeah. trade it up. That's straight for sure. Lock that in, Dirty Birds. Shout out Atlanta, even though we're Ravens over here. But uh, we'll put these back and uh, shout out the guys a good time. Just left Good Times, got our shirt right here. That almost got uh, sketchy for a minute to where if we would've gone to a $30 shirt, we could've bought that with the cash that we bought those shoes from. So I'm glad we got this because I think that would give us 50 or 60 bucks worth at the next store and we could maybe get like a uh, another vintage shirt or like a kid size shoe. I kinda wanna go for a kid size shoe. So that's the goal, but shout out Good Times. We're trying to make this as realistic as possible and I think that like those shoes are 30 bucks plus 10 cash. I think that's 40, like so. I don't know, this is tougher. We're challenging ourselves and uh, we're gonna keep going. Wanted to hop in here and just say, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you can see all the different videos that we post and turn on post notifications if you never wanna miss a video as well as we have these $10 t-shirts from the Neville Racing Moto Club drop. So go ahead and check that out, harrisonneville.com. Just wanna pop in here and do a little plug. We're back, we started with you guys, we got this Converse. We wanted to challenge ourselves, so we went to Plato's Closet and Ragaramas. We started trading there, which made it way more difficult. But we are now at this. We got some shoes and stuff, but 
We're at a vintage Falcons Art. Dirty Bird shirt. Mm. I thought you guys would maybe like this one. This is something you guys might be able to do here. So I don't know if you find some value in that, some store credit, maybe we can find some to trade. Um, it's nothing crazy, but Atlanta native. Probably like 50 store credit. 50 store credit. Works for us. We're down for that. We'll find something around the shop and uh, go from there. All right, so we're definitely looking in the range of a vintage shirt again and try to make our way up on there. So I think we found one, but there's not really many shoes that are like at the price range that we want to be at, at like the 60 to 80. So we found a Travis Fragment t-shirt or Travis Fragment cause. That would be a good move and then we'll use that to continue to move on. But shoes wise, we couldn't really find anything in that range. There's a lot of like 100, 120. So we're going to try to take this and go maybe to 100. All right, so you're down to lock this in? Yeah, let's run it. We're gonna do this Cactus Jack call shirt, fragment shirt for the Braves Dirty Bird. So lock it in. Appreciate you guys as always. They were the first trade in this, and now you're the fifth. I full think. circle. What goes around Game comes around. Full circle, look at that. <laughs> All right, so we're about like 80 bucks now. Again, this has been very, we're trying to challenge ourselves. 80 bucks, we've gotta figure out what store to go to next. We can go to Versus Atlanta or Hype. What do you think, Nick? Because it's right now it's probably about one o'clock-ish. Uh, one one thirty almost. For me, I think we go to Versus and then go to Hype to end it off. Because I don't know if Versus is open yet because on Mondays I think they start later. So we'll try that um, and see what we find. All right, so we got our tee right here. The call is Travis Fragment tee. We're going to Versus ATL right now. Seeing if maybe we could trade for something. I know they'll have vintage for sure, but maybe like a cheap shoe, hopefully. All right, so I just explained to him kind of what we've been doing this whole time, where we've been trading from. So we have, this is our current trade, a used Travis Fragment tee, and uh, it's a pretty solid t-shirt. Nothing too crazy, but I want to see what you guys might value that at. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I could probably give you like 100 store credit. 100? From there. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. Well, let's look around. Maybe some vintage. I don't know if you got any small size shoes or something, but we'll see what we can find. John just pulled these. These are 100 used in a size nine. So that's it. I mean, we're gonna jump to a shoe. I think would be absolutely perfect. Doesn't matter if they're used or anything. So I think we're easy already. Like quick, quick. I think this is the right option. So I think we might go for these. 100 used. Good trade. All right, we're backed up. John, thank you as always. I always do, thank Quick you. Quick and easy. First shoe, or we're back to a shoe, and now let's just keep it moving. All right, so we just got the pair. First shoe back again. Jordan 1's used. I think this will be perfect for the next store, and maybe the final store. We'll see if we can wrap it up. So we're going to Hype to end it off, which is our boy Khan, and uh, we're going down in the city by the Ferris wheel. I think he'll have some good stuff. He definitely always has stuff in the 80 to $100 range. Hopefully we can bump it up to like 120, 125, and I'll be happy with trading there from Crocs. We're at, we're at a pretty good shoe now. I think at a good uh, a good price point to do some trades. Used. Comes with the laces and all. Yeah, store credit wise, we can find some trade. I think you usually have some stuff in that price range. Yeah. So. Uh, I know like a hundred credit. Hundred credit? Yeah. Well, I mean, just look around and see. See what we can find. Okay. We will. Okay. Perfect. We'll do. Lock it in, yes. Nike Dunks, the Jordan Ones. Yep. It's pretty solid. Lock it in as always, appreciate, appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back soon with some mystery box stuff, so appreciate the trades as always, and we'll see you, you soon. You want a new bag? Uh, you want to do a new bag, I guess go for it. I think the hype bag. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is 
trade six or seven. So let's head back to the warehouse and show you guys final results. All right, so we just got back with the final pair. This is gonna be a Nike Dunk Low Retro Phantom Fossil Rose Aura. That's nine and a half used. That is at 125, as you can see right here. So we went from a pair of Crocs to a $125 pair of shoes. These are used right here. This is a really good color actually. Now we decided to stop here. We were gonna do like a 48 hour challenge where we do this for two days and then post two videos. If you guys wanna see us continue this trade using this shoe, let me know in the comments down below and we'll continue it on and maybe do another 24 hours with these, see how far we can go, turn it into more of a series. But I wanted to do another one with 24 hours because you guys like the Air Force One version. But we tried to definitely add some challenges in there for us today with doing like rag and stuff like that it was like actually really tough and selling that one pair of Converse. But we got that done, got our way up to this and uh, I'm glad we were able to do it and try to make it a little bit more realistic. Obviously, at the end of the sneaker stores, they help us out a little bit. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like down below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel down below and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison signing out.